We're going to start off the big random here and see who gets which first letters. What's first, uh, these first character letters here in Star Wars? Star Wars. Yes, yes, yes. Each list will go through the randomizer seven times. We'll stack the lists up side by side in our little spreadsheet. Use the falls. <laughs> Use the falls. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even sound like Obi-Wan. Here we go, seven times. <laughs> I don't know what kind of accent that was, but anyway, maybe it was some alien drone accent. Who knows? All right, lucky number seven. The first random's finished. It's your destiny. <laughs> uh, here we go with our letters. It's first character letter. Favorite Star Wars quotes, anyone? Here we go, seven times. Lucky number seven. Okay, so now you can see your letter in the box break. Oh my. My, oh my. And I've got that coming up again. I'm going to pop it into alphabetical order and all. Let's pull a gem out of this thing. Yeah. Let's dig into this. That thing's heavy. Oh my. It's definitely heavier than some of the other ones. Oh, right. Oh. masterwork four hits in the box coming up letter B nice one there all right a a is such a strong letter in this with a socket to know oh that is F in dash 2199 Got an autograph from David Accord, letter F owner, Stephen K. Nice one, bro. Nice autograph in the break. 
Boom. Hit number one, Stephen K. There is the mighty Jabba. Oh, my. The mighty Jabba. That's right. Crime Lord, Crime Boss. Jabba. And there's another one for letter F. It's a blue parallel. The blue parallels aren't numbered. And I can't wait to see what's going to come out of that last box right there. I, I hope I'm right. I mean, I, I it felt kind of heavier. I don't know. I don't want to get everybody's hopes up in like a false way because I don't I don't know. I mean, it just felt heavier to me. Here we go. What is this? This here's a parallel. Maybe we have some kind kind of gem. You know, we're talking about gems today. Look at that parallel. Letter I. There you go, Arturo. Oh. Not the letter O. I was just saying, you know, I was just excited. <laughs> the armor. Now, I can't remember if the is excluded. The word the. It could be. I don't know. I have to look at the rules on this one at the end of the break. The armor belt. That's that character's name, right? The armor? Yeah. I'll confirm who's got that hit at the end here. There's Boba Fett. Padme. 45 of 50. Another great parallel. Letter P. Nice going, Arturo. I don't think the letter the is excluded, but you know, it would be right there in the rules section in the description of the box break. We're definitely curious about that. And we'll be coming back to our page to determine the owner of that armor relic. It's like a piece of fabric. It looks like a piece of leather from the the uh, costume design there. Here is letter C. Third sister. The backs of these have great descriptions about the characters and stuff, too. And what is this? Oh, right. Was she the chick in Jabba's Palace? No, I think the Jabba's Palace uh, creature had um, blue. It had three things coming off that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's T odor. It's autograph. Ho. I mean, she might be from Jabba's Palace because she's a server. Twilight server. 47 of 50 on this, this autograph parallel. Bang. Arturo. What a great costume that, that that character has in the saga. I like that costume. It kind of reminds me of Leia's outfit, too, that she was wearing in Jabba's Palace. So, all right. Uh, this is an Obi-Wan card. There it is, Obi-Wan quote. We are talking about quotes a minute ago. and That's great. Who is more foolish, the fool or the fool that follows him? That's a great Obi-Wan quote. And there's another parallel. This thing's been loaded with parallels. Loaded. Locked and loaded, man. Looking for treasure. Oh, look, it's kind of thicker. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. What is this thing? Star Wars Masterwork. Letter K. Padme, letter P. Arturo got two of those. What is this? This is that piece. This is the heavy, 
heavier piece. Oh my gosh, it's a relic from the droid K2SO. Arturo, nice droid relic, man. What in the world? I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't know. What does it say? A prop on on screen prop relic car. So this is part of the Rebel Base radar screen. Okay. I thought it was black underneath, but it was because of the card underneath. So yeah, it's not an actual droid relic. It's part of the set. It's a set relic. And it's an on-screen prop relic card from the Rebel Base radar screen. Ho! So, the character, though, it goes to the character. That's in the rules uh, right there. So, it's going to go to letter K. And it is a piece of glass in here that is used from the radar screen. And you can see it, uh, we've we've had one of these come out of before in a box break. Hey, Mountain Life. What a cool hit. A little piece of Star Wars history, man. On screen prop relic card. And here is a Jawas card. So there you go. The Jawas for letter J. And the final card in this Star Wars Masterwork is letter A, blue parallel. Nice one. Congratulations, Stephen K. And let's see if the rules say anything about the letter the, or, or I mean T. The letter T is in the, and if that is excluded. It's really easy to see that from looking at the box break description. Typically, we have excluded the letter, the the word the. I see the Mandalorian goes to M. It doesn't like the Mandalorian doesn't go to T. So I would assume the armor doesn't go to T. It goes to armor, similar to the Mandalorian. So I'm going to award this to letter A, and that is Stephen K. Congratulations, man. Just like the Mandalorian doesn't go to letter T, the armor doesn't go to letter T. And this is a piece of sourced fabric relic right here. Congratulations. The armor going to Stephen K and some other great things coming out in Star Wars Masterwork. That is a fun box break to be into. And we'll probably have more of that back available pretty soon.